Welcome to Katherine Raker's World. Innovation. Culture. Adventure. Fashion and health. Artists. Destinations. Traditions. This is Catherine Raker's World. Hi, this is Catherine Raker of Catherine Raker's World, our syndicated TV show, and let's just talk our syndicated radio show. I'm always thrilled to have, he's a true friend. He's a political expert. His name is Dan Perkins. He's a registered advi uh, investment advisor, best-selling author, political commentator, and media personality, founder of Songs and Stories for Soldiers U.S. His wonderful foundation, nonprofit for veterans, and owner of the Dan Perkins Media Network. From books to commentaries to radio and TV, Dan will be the first to say that writing becomes part of who you are. It completes a person. And he writes commentaries, opinion pieces, children's books, newspaper articles on various topics, and content for radio and TV programs. For many years, Dan's financial management business provided a reason to keep himself entrenched in politics and current events. It made sense to know what was happening. However, he realized that his interest in the political world was much greater than just the financial portion. It became his passion, eventually leading him to his first book series. In between writing books, he developed a keen nose for what is real news and what is not. He soon realized that not all reported news is number one, factual, number two, unbiased, and number three, comprehensible. So he began his quest to provide a way for people to understand what is being written between the lines. He wants people to realize that much of our news is swept under the rug or deemed unnecessary for the average citizen. Dan will discuss the latest after the Trump guilty verdict in New York and $320 million for a peer that's got to be fixed now. It's unreal what's happening. So let's talk. Hi, Dan. How are you today? I'm fine. Thank you for having me on, Catherine. It's always a pleasure to be with you. Well, you're all of that and more. And it's, you keep on in reinventing yourself. Mm -hmm. And because of the times. Yes, you have to, uh, regardless of your age. Right. You, you, the only way you can, or I believe, grow is you have to reinvent yourself, finding new things to do and new ideas to run with, and that's that's what I've been doing for a long time. And you know, that's I've known you how many years now? Is it fifteen? Probably pretty close to that. Pretty close to that, and mm -hmm. I don't think we've changed a lot, actually, Dan. I think what, God's. Myself? I think yeah. I think God is keeping us younger in spirit and in looks seriously because he wants us to be a driving force i i can't tell you the number of people that i've had on their show for the first time and i tell them i'm 78 years of age and they say are you kidding me <laughs> i hope i look that good when i'm 78 i said thank you very much if you keep your mind engaged right you'll keep your body engaged that's that's, that's very important and I think everything that you do is exciting. I got to tell you, whenever you call me up and say, what do you think, Catherine? I feel honored that you asked me that question, honestly. <laughs> so yes. this has been the week, I hate to say this, in a sense, the week from hell. Because we were sitting on pins and needles waiting to hear what this verdict was going to be. But we kind of knew in our hearts that these people were picked because of their political affiliation. Uh, and I cannot believe in America today this happened, but it was bound to. I looked at it and, and I, at, at times I was a little Pollyannish. I was hopeful 
that maybe he would be acquitted. And then I, I defaulted to, well, maybe there'll, there'll be a hung jury. Uh, and it didn't happen. And I'm disappointed is, 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 is a weak sister because it isn't disappointing. What's happened um, this week, if, if any of your listeners are planning any trips to Washington, D.C. in the near future, they should go to the National Archives and look for a sign that says, no longer relevant. Because what the, what the Biden administration has done Mm-hmm. has ripped the constitution apart and i understand that there is a, an appeal process and that there's every likelihood that the conviction will be overturned but given the reaction of the american people i don't th- i think part of the reaction is about mr trump but i think that there's a now a growing percentage of american people who fear that their country is no longer the country that they were born in. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I, 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 uh, I'm going to, I have a regular Monday morning, uh, current events group that I meet with of about 40 people here. And we talk about what's happening and, and I'm, I'm going to go there with, um, the first page of the constitution and I'm going to rip it up. And throw it on the table because what we we have taken away our our right of free speech of the first amendment mm-hmm. due process to know who is accusing it what crimes are we being a- accused of all those parts of the constitution that have been around since the very beginning have all been destroyed by biden and and his team and it doesn't speak well for the city of new york in my opinion, when you have mm-hmm. the prosecutor, when he announces that that he's running for election, his principal objective is to get Donald Trump and the state attorney general, same situation. So they, they had a bias against Donald Trump before they got elected. And, and when they got elected, they got elected on the on the premise that they were going to get Donald Trump. And when we said that we couldn't find 12 members of good and true jury members in the city of New York that were willing to listen to the truth and make a decision based on the truth as opposed to their political leanings, uh, that says to me that, that New York is a place that most people shouldn't want to live. And I think you're going to see more and more people leaving New York City because its reputation has been uh, destroyed. Uh, and and when we have when we have that kind of environment, we we had in essence, Catherine, twelve people who were empowered in the city of New York by a prosecuting attorney uh, to try Donald Trump for things that they said he did that were not illegal, but they ma- manipulated the system to make them to be, to be illegal, and they got a jury to agree with him. Those I people made appeal, the I, I want to ask a question here, if you don't mind. Sure, go right ahead. The appeal process is not like we thought it was, or at least a lot of people didn't know how that happens, but it has to go through all of the states or just New York just New York. It goes through. Just New York. It has to go through. It has to go to the the appellate division, and then, and then the New York State Supreme Court, and then it appealed to um, uh, a federal court, and uh, and then ultimately could be appealed to the Supreme Court. But it has to so, go through all of that first. Well, that's an interesting question because. What's being talked about now is what is the judge going to do in terms of sentencing of Donald Trump for the conviction of four days before the Republican convention? Uh, 
the attorneys that I talk to is are saying, depending upon what he decides to do with Mr. Trump, Mr. Trump could appeal immediately to the U.S. Supreme Court. And that's what I would do. Uh, well, he's, they've got to do certain things in order to create the, uh, if, for example, he, he puts him on house arrest uh, until his appeal process is completed, which means he can't leave his house arrest and go out and campaign. Um, there's some people that are questioning and they're talking on, on the left about putting him in jail. And, and so the judge is going to have to be extremely careful because if he takes the same attitude that he took when he had the trial in determining what his punishment's going to be, uh, you could have, as some people are saying, the outbreak of civil war in the United States. I agree with that. And I also think they could probably try to disbar him as a lawyer and a judge. Am I correct? They could for what he's done. Absolutely. Absolutely. It, so it, it's what's interesting, Catherine, is that that he, for lack of a better description, he has no shame. He he did things that lawyers on both sides made no sense to them, that 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 it was clearly prejudicial. So um, the judge's job is not to be prejudicial. The judge's job is to be neutral. And, and so he was uh, accused many, many times as being an additional attorney for prosecution. So um, if he tries to take that same kind of demeanor, he's going to put him into house arrest or whatever. Uh, I, I believe, based on the lawyers that I've talked to, that, that the Trump team can immediately apply to an emergency order to the Supreme Court. Now, if that were to happen... I believe there's more than enough evidence that the Supreme Court would overturn the verdict. Um, and as a result, uh, all the charges would be dropped and Mr. Trump would be free to go do what he wants to do. Uh, I, I think that the, 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 that the people, the Democrats fear that and understand that the momentum, they can see it in terms of contributions and the number of people registering to vote and all the things that are out there that the momentum has even gotten more strong to Donald Trump. So they got to be careful that they don't go off the deep end and try to retaliate. So this is going to be a very unsettling and difficult period of time. The, the person who has the most difficult position at the moment is Joe Biden. Because if Mr. Biden decides to jump on the bandwagon of criticizing and condemning um Mr. Trump for his conviction. I think that that could could be a tremendous backfire. Now, I also understand that I don't think the Democrats have any brains left in their heads. They're they're just acting on emotions and making short term decisions. But if if the American people turn on the Democrats and Biden, not because of Trump, but because of the abuse of the Constitution. And the, the diminishments of our rights, as some people have said, if they come after Trump, can they come after you? Well, you and I aren't important enough that they could come after us, but they could. They could come after us. And that's that's what's got a lot of people wondered, wondering what in the world is going on in our country. And it's, it's the right question to ask. So when I said to you a moment ago, this is going to be a very difficult time. The Democrats could find themselves in 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 huge trouble uh, if Mr. Biden doesn't keep his mouth shut. Well, that's the sad thing, but we have to take a short break. Sure. And we'll be right back with Dan Perkins. Would you like to give your websites out? Sure. DanPerkinsMedia.org. My personal website is DanPerkins.Guru. And the foundation website is Songs and Stories for Soldiers. Us, and that's really important. So we'll be right back, and don't forget to go to our website at Catherine Raker's World. Let's just talk, and don't forget to try our wonderful yournews.com. You'll be really surprised and 
and it will really help you. It's great news. We'll be right back. We're back on Catherine Raker's world. And let's just talk with our political expert, uh, Dan Perkins. And, you know, I, I need to finish the show out today. So what would you like to leave our audience with um, on what you think we can do as citizens to stand up and fight for not only Mr. Trump, but all of us to keep the Republic, not the democracy, the Republic. Right. Um, I think uh, we we need to uh, support the senators, the Republican senators who yesterday notified uh, the majority leader of the Senate, uh, Chuck Schumer, that nothing's going to get through the Senate. The see the people may not realize the rules of the Senate is legislation requires sixty votes to pass. There are uh, fifty one Democrats and forty nine Dem- uh, Republicans, and so they can't get it through on their own. They're going to need Republicans to join. But all the Republican senators said, "You're not going to get anything through. No legislation. No continuing resolutions." Nothing, no judge's appointments, none of that's going to happen. We're basically going to shut down the Senate for business. And uh, you were telling me that there was a similar type of uh, situation in the House. So we need to we need to continue. We need to be writing to our senators and congressmen to stay strong, to defend the Constitution. It isn't really about Donald Trump anymore. It's about the Constitution in our country. That's right. And that's right. And so the big thing they can do is they can support uh, the, the elected officials and remind them to stay strong, don't waver, and, um, and their power of 49 in the Senate and control of the House will have an impact on what Mr. Biden can do. Now, he can use his executive orders, but that could become, well, that will become challenging because the, the, the House committees will start challenging him in the courts uh, of his inability to follow the rules. So uh, that's the that's the one thing that most every American can do is they can write a letter to their congressman and to their state senators, both of them, telling them how much important it is to preserve the Constitution and stay in touch. Um, there's a story, Catherine, and I, I'll end on this. I'm trying to. I saw it this morning. And it disappeared. I couldn't find it, so I'm, but I'm going to look for it, and I'll send it to you. There is a story out that you may recall recently where uh, Biden invec- uh, uh, decided he was going to use executive privilege and not allowing the video, the audio tape or videotape of Biden's interview with special counsel Her, and they said they released a transcript. Well, there's a story that came out this morning that the transcript was altered by the White House. That's why they don't want to hear the original on the on the on the tape. Do we know where the original is? I don't know. I I I can't. Uh, I just saw that this morning, and I'm work. I'll be working today trying to figure where that is. But if the White House is manipulating the has been manipulated the transcript because they didn't like what was in the original audio. And now they're trying to use executive privilege to keep the audio from coming out. I suspect that uh, the Republicans in the House will probably have a, a, a suit in the courts to get it. So so we need to say so long. We'll see you next time on Catherine Raker's World. And let's just talk. So can you give your websites out again? Sure. Uh, big w- big website is uh, danperkinsmedia.org. My personal website is danperkins.guru, and the foundation website is songsandstoriesforsoldiers.us. And thank you for having me on. And thank you for joining us today. I'm Catherine Raker's World, and let's just talk. We'll see you soon.